guys welcome back to build it motorsport um, got a lot of things going on with the channel behind the scenes got a lot of things going on with the truck behind the scenes getting ready for uh, the biggest show of the year that I go to lift the truck nationals and we're gonna have a video on that um, but for today's video we're gonna talk about the crankcase ventilation system uh, sometimes I call that the crankcase circulation system uh, also uh, I kind of use those terms interchangeably but it's a crankcase ventilation system we're also going to talk about the PCV valve which is a part of that system and then we're also going to cover adding an oil catch can to that and why that can be really important especially on a performance application so uh, crankcase ventilation system what that does is essentially there are fine amounts of blow by gases that will get past your rings and they will go into the area where your oil and your bearings are uh, and it will just stay in that area so what the crankcase ventilation system is going to do with those is it's going to draw fresh air in to the crankcase and then draw it out and into the vacuum of the intake manifold now uh, there's a PCV valve that is between the crankcase and the intake manifold it's only going to allow the uh, the fumes to come through into the intake manifold but not to come back out and into the crankcase it's a one-way check valve is what a PCV valve is positive crankcase ventilation valve so uh, that's really important on a boosted application we don't want to pressurize that area uh, blow out our seals so PCV valve most vehicles already have them and they're really important to retain them now uh, the crankcase ventilation system super important it's going to keep the crankcase uh, clean and fresh and improve the longevity of our bearing seals and our oil but what sometimes happens and most often happens is that what will, will come through with those blow by gases and and through that ventilation into the intake manifold is oil vapor oil vapor will be drawn into your intake manifold that's going to create sludge it's going to uh, lower the octane rating of your fuel and air mixture which is going to affect ignition timing and the amount that you can run and so it's all around it's just not really a good thing PCV valve and the crankcase ventilation system is a good thing but the fact that it's not filtering the oil out of it, the oil vapors out of it, uh, that's not a good thing. So what we want to do is add an oil catch can that's going to do that. Well on these trucks we can't actually just add one. Uh, you have to have a special type of part that will allow you to vent those and uh, they don't make them guys. I looked and looked and looked for a solution to this on these third gen rams with the Hemi engine. Uh, there's lots of other uh, vehicles that this will also apply to uh, all of the truck style intake manifolds for the earlier third gen uh, the pre-eagle heads if you know anything about that but we got to get creative and make it work but I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna go about doing that so uh, let's get right into it all right so this is how I currently have the oil catch can set up the wrong way this is where the air filter housing will let you draw fresh inlet air that would draw through and into here. I currently have a little catch can set up where it runs through and then into it. That is not the right way. There's no reason the oil would be coming out of that except for if you had your PCV valve clogged. So we're going to fix this problem but the PCV valve is located right here. That blue knob right there, that is a PCV valve. Uh, I'll remove it here in a little bit and show you what it looks like but that is a PCV valve right there. I had a black one in there but this blue one I bought uh, just to show a little bit better representation of it. You can see it clearly in the video here. But yeah, that's that's that right there is your PCV valve. Now that'll twist and pop out so you can replace it if you want. But basically what that does is there is a hole in the manifold right there. And then inside of that hole there's another hole that is a tube that goes down to the crankcase. And that allows vapor to come up through this valve and then out the side of it and be drawn into the intake through the intake vacuum. What we want to do is figure out how to put an oil catch can on that, but there's no hoses. So to put the oil catch can on the correct way, we're going to route this into this tube like it is supposed to be and drawn through here. Later on, I may try to get it to where there's just a filter on this. I think it'll look a little cleaner and not have this ugly hose here. But to fix that, I looked up to see if there's any kind of reroutes that have a couple of fittings on them to where you can run an oil catch can on them. They don't make them. I looked everywhere, they don't make them. So what I did is I got hold of a 3D printing company who designs and creates 3D printed things and they told me they have a plastic that'll work good. It's the same exact plastic the intake is made out of, same plastic that that valve is already made out of. 
so it'll hold up to all the same temperatures and oil and all of that stuff that is already on it but I'm having them make a basically it's not a PCV valve but it'll be a PCV reroute that'll have two fittings on the top so we can connect our oil catch can the right way and we'll connect an external PCV valve to this system to make sure it still works so but yeah that's what I was doing wrong I didn't have it connected correctly I did not know that I learned something today guys I don't know everything but I learned something and so what I'm going to do is we're going to create this uh, new PCV reroute and then I'm going to test it out and then if it works good then I am going to uh, have more of them available but I'm going to start putting this on and show you guys what it looks like uh, the right way so here we go alright guys so this here is the PCV valve this is a stock valve the, the factory PCV valve that would be in the engine this isn't actually the black one it would normally be black but this is the same as the factory part uh, the purpose of this is like I told you uh, the crankcase is connected to this part where the intake manifold vacuum is connected to this little hole on the side now uh, it allows the air to be drawn up and in and then out that hole on the side and the PCV valve is actually the little valve that you see right there in the end so uh, what that does is it just keeps the air from going down, only lets it come out and in to the intake manifold. That's a one-way check valve is what it is. Uh, so this, because it's all enclosed, there's no way to put that oil catch can on there. Because the oil catch can needs to be connected with a tube that is between the PCV valve and the intake manifold. Uh, that way the PCV valve can stop it from going backwards into the uh, crankcase it only lets it come out of the crankcase through here and then it can go through your oil catch can and then into the intake manifold that's how we want it to work but we can't do that because it's all enclosed there's no way to put oil catch can between here and here so what we're gonna well, what I had to do is make a part so this is what we needed this is a PCV reroute for a third gen Ram with the 5.7 Hemi it'll also work on some of your other uh, Hemis with the same intake manifold, uh, the earlier Hemis, like in a Durango perhaps. Uh, so there you go. But PCV re reroute. What's going to do is right here, we're going to draw the crankcase fumes up in through the bottom tube. It's going to go into there and then out the part marked B for bottom. It's going to go up and out. We can put our oil catch can on some tubes onto here. And then we can route it back to T for top. Now, uh, the thing about this is it doesn't have a PCV valve in it so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to mount an external PCV valve on the B for bottom tube uh, or right thereafter between here and the oil catch can is where we're going to want to mount an external PCV valve uh, very important guys that we do that um, especially on your boosted applications so I highly recommend you get one uh, the way I'm going to do it everything I'm going to get is from O'Reilly's that way I know that you can get stuff too from your local parts store so uh, also, we're going to have to transfer the seals here and here from our factory valve. And guys, if the seals are bad on yours when you pull it out, you can go to uh, your local parts store and usually you can find the factory one for about $10. That blue one is a uh, Duralast from AutoZone and you can get it for $10. So if you need, you can use that to get the seals or you can just go find some O-rings to make this fit. But you're going to need that. and some tubes some hoses uh, and uh, you're gonna need a external PCV valve very important guys I cannot stress that enough alright you guys so this is how we have it now the breather tube that would normally be connected to the air box is capped off so that way nothing nasty can bypass the filter then we have a small little filter you can get these small rallies wherever you want and it's ran to right here which is where our fresh air inlet for the crankcase circulation is so fresh air can come in through here and it's filtered then where our PCV valve was we now have the crankcase reroute so this here is the bottom that comes from the crankcase and here is the top that goes to the vacuum of the intake manifold this here is a PCV valve that is originally made for a Chevy and it's mounted in here and this little adapter runs from that small size up to 
a larger size to fit that. By the way, these tubes get down here, guys, they're 3 8 uh, And you can get away with a little bit bigger if you have to, but they're, they're 3 8 It comes up to a piece of V-valve. It runs through some good quality tubes around through to our old catch can. Now, it goes into the end on the old catch can, goes through here. There's some filtering media that filters it in. Then the air that the oil has been filtered out of can continue back through the tubes, over through, and into our T for top, into the vacuum of the intake manifold where the, the oil-free air can be burned as it's designed and it can still be drawn through and keep all the crankcase fumes uh, circulating out of the crankcase. So that's how it is, guys. That's how it's gonna be. That there is a part that I couldn't find anywhere else, so I had one made. Crankcase circulation system, and that there is a PCV reroute, and they will be available. Uh, and later on, once I get everything set up, I will provide a link in this video. So keep checking in to where you can get one. I hope you guys learned something. I hope this was helpful. I know I surely learned something in this process. And for those of you who want to do a oil catch can on your third gen Ram with the Hemi the right way, uh, I highly encourage you to uh, get one of these parts. Uh, I haven't decided on the price of them yet, but it'll be posted as a link on this video later on when they do go available for sale. Uh, but currently we're working on patent and legal things. So, uh, But moving forward with the channel, um, we're going to be going to LTN. That's Lifted Truck Nationals. That's a big show that's coming up, and I hope that you guys will uh, watch that video. I'm going to basically just take a vlog. It's going to be real, real raw footage of LTN, and I'm going to try to take as much footage as I can uh, to show you guys what Lifted Truck Nationals is really like, and not just the show parts, but the prep, the cleaning, the cruising, the driving, the fun stuff. So, uh, also, I've got a little bit of shenanigans that I'm going to do with the truck, and we'll cover that. Uh, a little something that I think I'm going to get just for just for some shenanigans, we'll say. Some shenanigans in the battle wagon. So, uh, if you guys learned something, please like the video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. And then also, if you guys uh, like the video or you want to see more stuff like this, it would really help me if you would subscribe. Um, I know that it's so easy not to, but hey, just click that subscribe button real quick. I'll wait. I'm waiting. Okay, fine. You don't have to, but if you did, then heck yeah, fish bump. Yeah. <laughs>